simple technology has simplified that process. The trial project located in Pawayan village in the Gulf province is managed by a women's association with support from Koko Nene Henaru, a community representative company and the Papua LNG project operator Total PNG who despite a slowdown in operations remain committed to developing a long-term relationship with the communities within their project areas. Highlighting the potential of what could possibly be a game changer of PNG's first merchandise Sago Processing Mill, Mineral Resource Development Company or MRDC Managing Director Agustin Mano says this system will change how Papua New Guineans view Sago, particularly in terms of the opportunity to develop SMEs across the country. You know, when we talk about SME, here's a potential here because every village in the country has Sago patches right across. Imagine if you have a bit of it in each of the village and if we were to make it the product to export. If you say 40% here, you, you just imagine the empowerment by the SME. That's where I see the potential. <laughs> what has also made Sago production slow and laborious, Mano says the simple technology will be transformative if it can be replicated and applied in other villages across the country. It's the community support. If we have entrepreneurs around in the villages, especially uh, those uh, who have cooperative society and also uh, those who see what has happened. I think it can uh, spread to other parts of the region. It's just that there need to be awareness about you know, the advantage and the, it has brought to the communities and also to other stakeholders. We promote them, I think we can do a lot with that. The Sego Mill project being the venture that the exploration and production subsidiary in PNG, Total PNG is looking to partner as part of their broader plan to support a diverse range of projects that allows communities to develop opportunities that exist outside of the gas and oil ventures. My first impression is such a great work that has been put together by the community. So what we wish to do is just be the catalyst bring the additional resource, but we cannot do everything. And here, the community really took ownership of everything. It's their work, and they did that in a record time. So it's amazing. I'm really impressed. Okay. Coming forward to provide assistance with resources, materials, and logistical support to help get the pilot project up and running, Total PNG has also emphasized that the support will only be given with the cooperation and involvement of the communities themselves, additionally giving its commitment to establish a pathway to trade outside of the Gulf region. I think the impact is amazing and people themselves are amazed at the impact in terms of speed of processing, quality of the product they put together. It will be for them a renewed and increased source of staple, but maybe more than that, also a source to get external revenues and then to continue developing the community. And regarding the women, it's amazing to realize the amount of work that women and young girls, five years old young girls, had to put days of work to cut a single sago tree. And then with a yield which is only one third of the yield which is obtained with that machine and for a product of a quality which is increased. So all those young girls and women who were really spending their whole life on a strenuous, very difficult work, I hope young girls will be able to go to school. I hope uh, their mother will be able to take care of the gardens to increase the variety of the staple food and generate new sources of revenue. So. It's a transformational project, no doubt about that. Anit Kora, National MTV News.